Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to this now, my second attempt at trying to find the best way of doing dowel joinery. And to that end, I mean which drill bit size is the best to allow more or less glue on the dowel as it goes through the joint, how much clamping force is best to uh, make sure the joint sets up properly. And one other thing I wanted to test, and that is specifically with this joint here, and that is my new adjustable dowel jig. I wanted to see if the brass inserts would allow for a much more controlled entry and exit uh, from the holes. And as you can see, I sanded them all down and it's nice and balanced and even, which is great. And yeah, it looks nice, which is uh, the whole point of doing this particular style of joint. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take all these and I am going to break them all apart, of course. And my apologies, but again, it's just gonna be purely me telling you uh, whether or not it took more or less force to do this. Some of it is pretty obvious uh, when you watch it, but uh, some of it is just going to be me telling you whether it was hard or not. Now these, I, the 90s, I actually clamped properly, and as you can see, this took more force now. And uh, it is uh, the best way of doing that because uh, it needs to be clamped properly. And because I don't really have a way of clamping the 45, as you see here, it actually is a little bit uh, less in the way of strength required to break this joint. So this is the one that needs to be pounded in, and of course I didn't do that with the 45 because, uh, again, the way it has set up. But I'm finding now that this particular uh, drill bit size is not allowing enough glue around the joint for it to be uh, as strong as I would like. So this is the one where it's a little bit more uh, loose, but something went on with this one. I'm not sure what it was. Again, it is hard to break, as you can see here, which is more than strong enough. Uh, but see in a second here, uh, that shouldn't have happened. They should have just broke. Uh, again, sometimes contamination gets into it. And this is now the uh, 45, the miter, and it, it is a little bit stronger in some ways. Uh, as you can see here, as I try to tear this apart, uh, there is a fair amount of force required to get this to finally break. It is a stronger joint, uh, but it's not. Um, not sufficient, I think. It, it has to really require something that is uh, much more, uh, it needs to look really nice. And oh, this is the funny one. This is the quarter inch. And as you can see, it's not, the, the joint is not breaking, it's the wood. And this is really hard to get apart. Uh, this is, uh, well, it's really quite sloppy and easy to fit together. There's tons of glue in there, of course. And as you can see here, it is set up really quite nicely. It is a very strong joint. There is a problem with this, of course, and that is, well, when you're putting the joint together, there's no force at all with um, putting it in. It just simply slides through. So it's probably not the best for me for setting stuff up because I like to use the pegs themselves as part of the support while it all sets up. But I'm going to continue with this a little bit more. There's one more thing I want to do, and that is you can buy uh, fluted dowel pegs, and that is the next step I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up some fluted, and I'm going to pick up, again, in the same size I'm currently using, which is quarter inch, and I'm going to put them head to head with the regular unfluted, and we're going to see if we can finally put this to rest. Uh, again, all of them are more than strong enough for uh, what I need them for. The only one I'm eliminating now from it all is the one where I have to pound them in because it is not necessary at all from what I've gathered. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave comments, let me know what you think about all this, and I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.